Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Welcome and welcome, Gary. Good morning. Good to be here. Glad to have you always. We have a very interesting question today. It's a viewer question, so we're going to pull it up on the screen while right. I read it. I had knee surgery about six months back and the surgeon scarred me badly with a bone saw. I also have a lot of numbness and pain that's not typical for this type of surgery. What should be my next step? Well, six months in, it's hard to know, but yeah. probably getting a second opinion is the first step. If you've only been treating with the single doctor, uh, it might be time to get another opinion. Go mm -hmm. talk to somebody in that same specialty, not, not somebody's friend or an uncle of a friend, right. but talk to somebody who actually has some expertise in that area to see if they agree with what was done, if they can look at the films and see if it was done properly, and mm -hmm. whether the scarring is, you know, one man's scar is another man's blemish, right. you know. I mean, right. I, it, that's all in the eye of the beholder and but to see whether there's something significant there and if so and if there's a another doctor who supports your concerns and says eh, I'm not sure these things were done right then maybe it's time to then talk to a lawyer oh, and good. if you don't get the information from the doctor that you want there's still time there's still an opportunity lawyers can help with this sometimes lawyers don't determine cases we're not doctors you know yeah. so but if there's concerns there are lawyers who specialize in med mal and and have specialists they can call on to examine the work and the records. Generally, the thing you've got to do really is get your records. Yeah. Get those together to be able to present to somebody for evaluation. Okay. Well, and on that note, so say it does go forward to to some kind of a case, and there, how how do you determine an expert witness of some kind or to to how right. does that? Come well, to in be? Georgia, to file a lawsuit, yeah. you have to have the affidavit, the sworn testimony of an expert in that field who says there was a breach of the standard of care expected of physicians or health care providers doing that job. So there's a screening before you even file the lawsuit. But to get that, lawyers, I mean, that's what lawyers do is mm -hmm. put together cases, you know, and mm -hmm. find people to testify. It really helps if your subsequent treating doctor, the, the, the guy you saw yeah. for this, or the lady you saw for the second opinion supports you, that's a big help. Yeah. But sometimes they'll go, look, I don't know if I want to get in the middle of this. So right. the lawyers help with that too. But the, lawyers don't determine the case. We have to get experts involved. Mm -hmm. And then the question becomes, who's an expert? Yeah. You know, how do you qualify as an expert? <laughs> I guess that's your real question. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that was. <laughs> well, that's the part that gets litigated a lot. Yeah. That gets argued about yeah, a lot. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> anyway, thanks for the question. Good, qu we appreciate it. It is very good question. Keep them coming. Email, Facebook, however you want to get them to us. Thank you. We'll see you on the very next legal break.